Hi there and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's dive into today's top stories. The message coming from the Arsenal camp about Thomas Partey's injury now. Thomas Partey has been out injured for months at this point. The Ghanaian midfielder hasn't been seen in an Arsenal shirt since early October and it's fair to say that the situation is becoming more and more worrying with each passing week. Indeed, Mikel Arteta has been tight-lipped about Partey's return throughout this entire situation, but according to Amy Lawrence, speaking on the handbreak of podcast, there could be some good news on the way. Indeed, Lawrence said that party could be back sometime soon, claiming that there is a degree of optimism within the Arsenal camp that he will be back and ready to play sooner rather than later. Lawrence shared what she knows about party. She said the following. Just on the midfield, you're talking about Jorginho and Rice. I think that Thomas Partey might be making an appearance sometime soon. He has been gone for a lot of the season, but there is a certain degree of optimism within the camp that he will be ready, and the idea of putting him in the midfield with Rice for the forizable would be interesting. This is a massive boost for Arsenal. It's been a long time since we've seen party play, but let's not forget the Ghanaian was one of the Gunners most important players last season in that midfield. Let's be honest, Kai Havertz isn't working alongside Declan Rice in the center of the park and party would perhaps be a much better partner for the England captain as his physicality and ability to pass from deep could allow Rice a bit more freedom to make his driving runs forwards. Let's hope party is back soon and Arsenal are able to kick on once again and get this title push back on a track after a shaky few weeks. 34 million pound player could return from injury and play for Arsenal in final weeks of the season. Jurian Tamber could be back for Mikel Arteta's Arsenal before the end of the season, that's according to the Daily Mail, which has given an update on the situation of Tamber. So what has been reported about Arsenal and Jurian Tamber? Let's take a look. Well, Jurian Tamber joined Arsenal from Ajax in the summer of 2023. The Gunners paid an initial transfer fee of £34 million for the defender. Tamber is one of the best and most promising young defenders in Europe. He can operate as a centre-back or as a full-back. Liverpool midfielder Ryan Gravenberg has already said that he would love to have Tamber in his team at Anfield. Tamber suffered an ACL injury for Arsenal in their opening game of the Premier League season against Nottingham Forest. He has been on the sidelines ever since. According to the Daily Mail, Tamber is moving closer towards a return to the main group for a training at their London Colony. There is hope at Arsenal that he will be able to play in the final two months of the season. The Gunners are aiming to beat Liverpool and Manchester City to the Premier League title this season. In my opinion, that Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta could have Jurian Tamber back in his team for the final weeks of the season is very encouraging. Also, I do not think that Tamber will be at his best and may not even start a single game. Having him as an option would be a bonus for Arsenal. For the 22-year-old himself, even having the chance to get back on the pitch would be great and would boost his confidence for the next season. Pounded says Mikel Arteta may want to start 23 year old now. Emil Smith Rowe finally got a chance to make an extended cameo for Arsenal in the Premier League at the weekend. Indeed, after months of watching almost exclusively from the sidelines, Smith Rowe got to have a decent run out against Palace at the weekend and, excitingly, he looked very good in the process. Speaking on the handbrake of podcast, Adrian Clark has been full of praise for Smith Rowe after his performance against the Eagles, claiming that he actually looked sharper than Kai Havertz during the game, claiming that Mikel Arteta may want to consider starting the 23-year-old for Arsenal from now on. Clark spoke about the England international. He said, He looked sharp, didn't he? I thought everything he did was good. Pity he didn't score, but he looked bright and he looked, I would say, marginally sharper than Havertz. 
I don't think Havertz had a poor game. Everyone played well, but that cameo may have given Mikel Arteta food for thought, thinking that if Emil is at that level, he is as good as Havertz and he can offer a bit more in terms of craft in the final third. While Smithrow may have given Arteta something to think about at the weekend, we really can't see him getting a start in the Gunners next game. As the old saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, and after a 5-0 win against Palace, Mikel Arteta should really stick with what worked at the weekend. Of course, if Smithrow can continue to shine off the bench in the coming weeks, his case will become stronger and stronger, but whether or not he is able to do that remains to be seen. Smithrow played well at the weekend and his return to form certainly adds an extra dynamic to this Arsenal squad. Journalist shares what he's been told Gabriel is like in Arsenal training now. Gabriel Magalis is reportedly one of Arsenal's hardest working players in training with the defenders efforts paying off. The Brazilian international has been one of the North London side's most consistent performers during the Mikel Arteta era, with Gabriel forming an incredible centre-back partnership with William Saliba. And a key reason behind the 26-year-old defender's success with Arsenal has been his fitness, with Gabriel picking up hardly any injuries since joining the club in 2020 from Lille. Now, speaking on the Ars cast, journalist James McNicholas has detailed what Gabriel is like in training with insider knowledge, suggesting that the South American is a quite the workhorse behind the scenes. McNicholas said, when speaking about the fitness of Gabriel this season, the following, you speak about fitness, that's something he works really hard on. Like, he does a lot of kind of gym stuff, conditioning, inside the club and outside the club to make himself as physically dominant as he is and as consistently available as he is. Arsenal have been a club who have often been plagued with injury problems, yet Gabriel has shown in recent years that hard work and the right training can lead to a clean bill of health. The Brazilian international has hardly been injured since arriving in North London four years ago, and it's clear that Gabriel's work ethic and training has played a key role in this brilliant strike. Indeed, many Arsenal players should be looking up to Gabriel as an inspiration behind the scenes and some figures in the squad could benefit greatly from following in the Brazilian's footsteps. 23-year-old is pushing to leave Arsenal this month. Arsenal defender Jakub Kivior is now pushing to leave the Gunners before the transfer window shuts next week. Mikel Arteta's side returned to winning ways with a 5-0 victory over Crystal Palace on Saturday. Kivior, who doesn't play too often, came off the bench for the last 9 minutes against the Eagles. Arsenal signed Jakub Kivior from Spezia exactly a year ago for £20 million. The poll was never brought in to be the first choice. He has always been behind Gabriel Magalis and William Saliba in the pecking order at the Emirates. However, Mikel Arteta has used him at left back on a few occasions in the absence of Zinchenko over the last few months. Kivior, however, isn't satisfied with the game time he has received, claims Calcio Mercato. The Paul wants to be playing a lot more, but unfortunately for him, that doesn't look likely at the moment. So the report claims that the 23-year-old is pushing for a farewell in the coming days, and Italian giants AC Milan are keen to sign him. It has been reported that a Fikayo Tomori-like deal would satisfy everyone, alone deal with the option to make that permanent in the summer. Arsenal know better than any other club how bad things could get if they lose one of their key defenders. Just look at what happened after William Saliba got injured last season. Rob Holding just couldn't perform at the Frenchman's level and many feel that is the biggest reason why Arsenal did not win the Premier League title. Arsenal looked a lot better with Jakub Kivior at centre-back in the back end of last season and that is exactly why they need to keep hold of him now. The Paul is a really talented player and even though he is never likely to start ahead of Gabriel or Saliba, he is an excellent backup who could really help the Gunners in the coming months. 
extraordinary striker has been offered to Arsenal for a January transfer. According to the Daily Mail, Arsenal have been given the chance to sign former Real Madrid striker Karim Benzema in the January transfer window. The report has claimed that Arsenal were offered Karim Benzema earlier this month. It does not mention the Gunners' response. I suspect that Arsenal turned it down if the North London club were interested in pursuing a deal for the 36-year-old French striker, then the report in the Daily Mail would have given some kind of indication. The Guardian is reporting that Benzema would be off to Ligue 1 to play for his former club Lyon. Lyon are in talks over a potential deal for the striker who joined Saudi Pro League club Al Ettihad in the summer of 2023 after leaving Real Madrid. Benzema, who has been linked with Manchester United, came through Lyon's youth system and played for the first team before moving to Madrid in 2009. The 36-year-old went on to have a stunning career at Madrid. He scored 354 goals and 658 appearances for Los Blancos and won La Liga on four occasions and the UEFA Champions League five times. Former Madrid star Steve McNaman has described him as extraordinary. In my opinion, Karim Benzema would be a good option for Arsenal in the short term, a loan deal for the striker until the end of the season, with no obligation to buy, could work out well for the Gunners. Yes, I know that Benzema is on a massive salary at Al Ittihad, but Arsenal could at least explore a deal which would see the Saudi Pro League club bear most of the sum. After all, Lyon are in talks to sign the striker, and there is no way that the League One club would be able to pay his wages in full. Gabriel Jesus is not a prolific goal scorer. Benzema was playing for Real Madrid just a few months ago and even at the age of 36 he remains a class player who knows how to take good positions in and around the penalty box and is a clinical Arsenal now eyeing £64 million pound South American striker if they can't land Ivan Toni. Arsenal are making plans to sign Porto striker Eva Nilsson if they cannot do a deal to bring in Ivan Tony either this month or next. The Gunners are looking at signing a striker both this month and in the summer if needs be and Ivan Tony has been the main man linked for most of this window. However, with Brentford demanding about £100 million and Arsenal struggling with FFP, a summer move is more likely for the Gunners. And while Tony remains a target, Arsenal now have eyes on Porto's Evan Nelson if they cannot do that deal for the England man. According to football transfers, Brazilian star Evan Nelson is now firmly on Arsenal's radar as they look to alternative striking options. The Porto star has hit 16 goals this season to once again impress over in mainland Europe and there is a big chance he becomes the next player from the region to move to the Premier League. An deal for Arsenal is likely to mean they meet the striker's release clause which is currently set at around £64 million according to the same report. Arsenal's quest for a new attacking talent has also seen them cast an eye over Dominic Solanke as well. But with a deal unlikely for January, players like Evan Nelson are now firmly on the radar for the summer. However, the next Arsenal number 9 is going to have some pressure on their shoulders, given the clamor from fans to get one in. Evan Nelson is obviously a big talent, but at £64 million, he is a bit of a risk as well given his lack of experience at this level. However, these are the decisions Arsenal will have to make in the coming windows. Evan Nelson might end up being one of the more realistic options for the club, and £64 million is a tad cheaper than what Brantford want for Tony. £100 million Arsenal and Chelsea target makes a huge decision on his future. Brantford star Ivan Toni has decided to stay at the Bees until the summer, despite interest from Arsenal and Chelsea. The striker returned to action at the weekend against Nottingham Forest following an eight-month ban for breaching batting rules and the Englishman marked the occasion with a goal. 
Tony had an exceptional 22-23 campaign and that has attracted interest from Arsenal and Chelsea who are considered the front runners for the 27-year-old according to the independent both London clubs require a new number 9 and Tony will be high on their list when it comes to making a decision this summer as the England star is set to stay at Brentford until then, reports The Guardian. Tony previously said that he would not be leaving Brentford and that always looked to be the case given the bees have placed a £100 million price on him for the current transfer window. However, the 27-year-old threw doubt over the last week as he said in an interview with Sky Sports, you can never predict when it's the right time to move elsewhere, it's obvious I'd like to play for a top club, so whether it is this January, if it was to be the right time and if a club was to come in and pay the right money, who knows. Following the reception he got at the weekend from Brantford fans, it seems that Tony has finally decided to stay and and will put off his search for a new club until the next window. As we wrap up today's Arsenal news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.